Okay, Aquarius, this is your spiritual reading for the month of May. Wanted to let everybody know here I'll be doing a, um, a challenge, I guess. If you get over 100 hits for your sign for the month, um, I'll put up a bonus reading. Now, this is a spiritual reading, so I'll put up a bon bonus love and sex. Or if you want general, write general in the comments below. Or um, work is the other one I can do. Or whatever subject topic that you would rather have. If you'd rather have uh, anything other than that, put it in the comments below. Again, if you get over 100 hits on the video, so like, share, subscribe, pass it off to other people. If you get the hits you'll get the extra reading you'll get a bonus reading okay that's your announcement so away we go <laughs> i'll just get into the cards here the first deck i'm using is the gaia we have three cards of each so the first card for aquarius this month healing <laughs> nice yeah the first three uh, i did here is libra pisces and aquarius very tightly into this healing drive i mean a lot of us are really being forced to do this but no less it is happening so this is going with the flow here the sense i get with aquarius is it's maybe unconventional but it is still healing that's what they're saying it may not be going by the book here on the healing code but nonetheless we're getting things chopped out of the out of the energy field that don't need to be there again the caduceus here is um quite high on that stick right um, give me a moment here. Sorry, my cat should just say hi, Nico. Um, she just invades every reading. There's just a lot of stuff here. Like the river of emotion is quite removed from Aquarius is an air sign. So they don't like to really dip into the wetness of the pools. <laughs> Not like the Pisces would. Um, I just finished the Pisces reading and they did dip in there and, and they did go and, and get rid of and purge. Uh, I feel like that may be more of a challenge for the Aquarian and I feel like that's where the unconventionality comes in. How we're going to deal with this. We'll deal with it. <laughs> it. may not be in a conventional kind of way is the sense I'm getting. And they're making me look at this goofy frog on the upper right. Or sorry, upper left, upper right. I don't know how it's going to hit you. But um, over top of the, the Celtic knot there, he's kind of sitting there with a goofy smile on his face. And the sense here is um, the Aquarius feels like they can fast track this healing. So I don't know if that's the universe going, <laughs> we cannot fast track, young one, you know, or if that's them, you know, being kind of... Um, devious in the way that they want to jump over things so we'll, we'll move forward here i'm getting too caught up in the first card next card wow the counselor <laughs> so this could be us uh this could be us and it, that's what they're going isn't it interesting how we can speak of things that we have not yet conquered <laughs> i know i've done this myself you speak from wisdom but it's not always things that you take action on is the sense here we know certain things but are we taking action on it i feel like the aquarius just kind of not wanting to do this give me a moment they got two whales here sitting at the bottom kind of looks like the bottom of the ocean and there's an energy for wanting they're showing me uh them coming up and surfacing and going back down so it, it's the wave of emotion is what i get here that comes forth now there's a high connection here for these Aquarians. I feel like that is somewhat how they are healing, is going outward and talking to others. And it may be because we are somewhat advanced in our intuitive selves. We are sharing with others in a way that is giving back to us in a sense. There's an energy that comes back to us when we, you know, and this could be a friendship circles. We're going out and we're, you know, saying things in a healing way to them and it's reverberating back to us and it's kind of echoing. I'm getting a sense here that there's a feed of this. Now, is it good or bad? Give me a minute. Um, yeah, the sense here is, is that we can live vicariously. We can heal vicariously through others. And they're going, we're going to see. 
where that leads us because it really is going to lead us to the same spot we've been putting a lot of energy here into trying to take shortcuts and they're going if we would have just utilized that energy from the begin with to deal with our emotional selves we really would have been farther along at this point but nonetheless that that you know that the trail is yours you can pick high road low road or crazy road and and the Aquarians picking a crazy road <laughs> go on their own track and it, you know it's, they got some loops in there they go you know they backtrack and they do a hairpin and go back on themselves and they got to go the other way so this is really <laughs> the sense they're giving me uh with these aquas but they are being counseled by others like there's a back and forth is what they're showing me so we are talking outward to others we're taking healing from them, giving healing to the, to them, and taking healing. So there's a give and take here. But again, if we just dive into, instead of avoiding the emotional center, we could bend further along. But nonetheless, there's a sense of wanting to communicate with others and be in communities and discuss these things. This is how the Aquarian is kind of attacking this. Now, the next card we have is the self. Boom, there it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> the end. I feel like this is the universal energy coming up and going, hey, you know, <laughs> we just did an airpin turn back there and you went to a 2 extra K and we really could have been 4K down the road. But nonetheless, we, we got to end up at the same finish line, which is the self, right? And the peace and the serenity and all of that. Now, give me a moment to blend all these. I feel like that's the roller coaster ride. I feel like the Aquarius just feels like they're being all existential and stuff but really what it is they were trying to avoid their feelings and they just thought they were just being them good old selves and and the universe going yeah that's fine but go ahead do that but we still got to start we still got to start here and the longer that you spin in circles <laughs> the, the less time we have to start so they do end up there, no less. And I feel it's during this month. And it may be even uh, closer to the beginning of the month where they surrender in some kind of way here or gain peace and serenity in some kind of way. So we'll go to the chakra cards and see uh, what happens here. Now, on top of the healing, <clears throat> we get the Ace of Cups. Well, what do you know? Emotional healing. And the Ace of Cups, too, I feel here is the Aquarius coming to the understanding that yes uh, my emotions I need to deal with them in order to heal and we may have come across this by speaking to other people in our circles right speaking of friends friends may be doing this and saying you know I feel so much better than that. so then the Aquarius is taking that forward so there is a sense here of somehow they being uh, illuminated to the fact that our emotions uh, have got to come first and we've got to deal with them and the counselor I feel like in their own weird way when they deal with other people they do dive into their emotions I feel like it may be something when they're alone that they just don't feel comfortable doing it, it's not something like the Pisces can go curl up in a ball and and you know and just cry their eyes out and not that that is super comfortable for them but it's more of a natural flow of things um, Pisces can tend to, to dip into there and not have a problem with it. Here the, the Aquarius is, is going to see the importance of the emotional healing. So next, on top of the counselor, again, working with other people to discuss things of heart-centered nature. We have the Princess of Coins. Now that can deal with work or things of a monetary nature, building our finances, the beginning stages of root chakra work. Uh, give me a minute here. We may be dealing with others around us in a more form. What I'm getting from here is a more formal way. Like we're really not dipping in, and that may be an avoidance, right? Uh, dipping into people and talking about work, right? Or things that are less wishy-washy right we're feeling emotional on the inside but we may not be talking of it because the princess of coins is really about knowledge and, and movement forward in in the material plane and and making amends to that so i feel like they may also see this as a hiding place <laughs> 
where we can, you know, hide, hide in the corner of, of work and, and discussions of, of knowledge and whatnot. And, and maybe I should um, read a book instead of dealing with my emotion, this kind of thing. Um, and not wrong with reading a book, but I mean, again, if we're in avoidance of dealing with emotional work here. But nonetheless, I feel like that may be uh, what they're communicating about more over now than anything. Again, um, I do feel that they're using this as as a way to kind of avoid getting into the emotional center, but, but it's coming up no less. Now, when we deal with the self here, 14, on top of that, the chakra card we get is the moon. Yeah, this is where it goes a little awry. This is where we don't know how to deal. We don't know, right? We, um, we lose ourselves. What's right and what's wrong? So... Aquarius may have a hard time figuring out what's instinct, what's ego, and what's the dark side of things. Because uh, they're on the moon here, they're going the dark and the light. Don't know the difference. Not that we don't know what's right and wrong, but when it comes to spirituality, we may not know internally what is right and wrong. Uh, we know when we take action, we're going to you know, look in certain directions, but for our highest good here, give me a minute. It's a little more, it's a little more loose, illusory, illusory. There's more illusions when it comes to the self and the internal and all of that. Now we are air, right? We are of the mind and whatnot. But that is here where I feel like the Aquarius is really lost. Um, and it may be just what's going on in our head, really. We're trying to keep peace, uh, but there's stuff going on in our head that we may not understand, is the sense. Okay, I'm going to move forward here to the wisdom cards. <clears throat> First wisdom cards on top of the Ace of Cups here is the moon. 50. Yeah. Again, we end with the moon and we begin with the moon on top of the healing. Give me a minute. I just went through the Pisces reading and the energy I got there was the all clear. Now here it is not so. That black cat is about ominous things. We don't know. And it, it is. It's about, um, we may be seeing everything that we see now, that there's no obstacles. But the black cat is ominous. It can bring things that we don't see yet, but will come, you know. And it's almost like a fear of the future, what the future will hold in a love direction um love or or just emotionally um yeah so we'll go to the next row here and the princess of coins and the counselor again is speaking with people outside of ourselves we may be uh looking into knowledge rather than dealing with our emotional selves we're looking into knowledge gaining knowledge base or skills in some kind of way in a different direction we get success card on top of that. Yeah. And we may gain some headway here in this area. Again, I feel like it's it's in a way that we're trying to avoid our emotions. But nonetheless, like they said, uh, we can avoid and we can do spin circles. But we're going to end up at the finish line where we have to deal with the self anyway. So we can do this and, and gain knowledge. It's nothing wrong with knowledge. But again, it's just going to take us longer to get to the point where <laughs> healing. So the self, 14, and the moon, 18. We get, yeah, listening, 23. Um, how did I get my glasses? There's a phrase on here that just did not put it. <laughs> it says, darkness does not always equal evil, and light does not always bring good. This is really encompassing what I get from the moon card. Like, we are kind of confused as what's the highest good here for us. That's really what's going on with the Aquarius. They are going into things here. I, f I feel like the skill is really... I know here what I can do and what I can't do. So I'm going to go in there, I'm going to gain my knowledge, and I'm going to go forward. And they're going, yeah, that's all great and fine. But again, the avoidance factor, right? Well, they're avoiding because they don't know spiritually where to go what's good and what's bad. That's really what I'm getting. Again, it's not like I don't know what to do in the physical, but in the in the realm of spiritual, there's a lot of gray area for the Aquarians here. Not mapping it out uh, too grand here, where they can see the black and white clearly. 
So this is the listening card, no less, 23. But it speaks of needing to know more in order to feel more confident. So there may be a little bit of a, a confidence level needed here to discern, is really the word, what's going up in the spiritual realm there. Okay, so third row, divine cards, I'm very much in the divine energy. On the moon card, we get justice again. Wow, the first three readings are very tight, very tight with the energy here, very similar. Again, we start with emotional healing. Justice is coming. This is the universe coming in saying we are going to get our healing one way or another. No matter if you run around the bush three times, you're still going to get your emotional healing. And we're still going to, you know, get what we need here to balance things out. Okay, that's that. Next card. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands. That's on top of the counselor and the skill and the success. Now, this is interesting. We may have a situation here that is for our benefit, that is, uh, may have to do with a work scenario, okay? Uh, where we, either we get an offer, or some kind of situation, yeah, the Nine of Wands is really about stress and anxiety. You know, all these skulls on the poles are on fire. And she's like, oh, what do I do? The house is on fire, right? Things are stressing, but there's nothing but really good here. But the sense is, is that maybe we, um, we've come across either some information uh, through the work area that may be stressing in some way or another. Maybe that will illuminate as we go further. Okay, next card on top of the listening here. Not all is, is what it seems. What do we get there? The Ace of Wands, yeah. Creativity card. In this deck, it speaks to creativity. When you put that pen on that paper, you are in control of what is created from here. <clears throat> and then they have the fire to embellish the action that can be taken. Now, again, this is kind of wishy-washy stuff, but we start out with the self, and then we go to the moon, and we're going, yeah, we're kind of don't really know the right and wrong all inside where the Pisces kind of got it figured out and they're already sitting there waiting for their next assignment. The Aquarius kind of avoiding that area, that subject. The moon is, it's just, I don't see clearly here. I don't have enough confidence here. I don't discern well here. So I need a little more time to think things over or uh, just get away from that and focus on work. And then eventually come back. Now the creativity comes on top of that. And I feel like that's, that may be a way where the universe is telling them to tap in. It may be like maybe we're focusing too hard. Um, how do you say? Like overthinking the whole pressure of dealing with our spiritual self. That we kind of make more out of it than need be. Um, and the Ace of Wands like just relax. Do some artwork. Do some writing. Do some painting. Do some whatever pottery, whatever you want to do, do something to keep your, yourself busy. And then things will slowly filter in. That's the sense I get because the energies are really pushing that energy. The energy is pushing energy, the universe pushing the energy to you in order to be the most conducive to healing. We are healing. Again, we're avoiding certain areas, but just relax with things and, and, and eventually it'll flow. It'll, it'll, fall into place almost like we're we're going into an area prematurely or over expanded meaning like overexposed how do you say that yeah overthinking things and it kind of fouls us up so the creativity and the passion uh go in an area there and and they will meet you in there and and you know a dust storm will rise and then you'll suddenly some spirituality will come in a natural form and we're not even trying that kind of thing okay so back on the justice card at the beginning here the universal we have the messenger oracles uh 16 heed the messengers <laughs> yeah and that's the thing get creative and the messengers will come messages will come and and that's really what it is i mean when you anybody that's creative or artistic where does all this stuff come from it comes from your instinct it comes from that data bank the universal data bank, you're tapped in. As soon as you turn to art, there it is, right there. So I feel like that 
connection to creativity is going to connect you to the messengers and away we go now on the anxiety what do we get there <sighs> have courage 14 courage one to push through it not let it envelop you right the anxiety and that may be just some a sense of um foreboding that we have like a anxiety that we have about dealing with our emotions and whatnot again we we f feel them and let them release and we will have a better time with it <laughs> that sounds bad but you cry and you really then you you it doesn't pop out in in inappropriate ways inappropriate ways so have courage to face really your fears and anxieties that's really what i'm going to say here and it may be in a work direction that this is um the hardest okay okay on the ace of wands again your creativity coming forth we have hi we have stay strong <laughs> 43 yeah yeah okay okay chill chill doing a reading uh stay strong 43 yeah like have courage stay strong there's a sense here that we may falter or uh, that's the way the Aquarius feels at this point, I think. That we may uh, falter somewhat here. This is, my, this is funny. My cat is like right on the table. She's watching all the... She's watching all the things. Because <laughs> uh, I, sometimes I don't see them. Uh, my guides and whatnot, right? And she sees them. So she's... Okay, sorry. So we're on the self. We're dealing with things that are kind of we don't know between black and white you know and sometimes bad is not always evil or light does not always mean good and and darkness does not always mean evil we get into our creative selves and then suddenly we're tapped into universal energies and they go stay strong with that stay strong while you're there and have faith in that I guess really okay last row here on the above cards on top of heed the messengers we have the maiden of earth which yeah speaks to joyful appreciation this woman's kind of frolicking around in the daisies and spring flowers right <laughs> she's enjoying her universe all in the air sign there <laughs> um yeah, it's kind of enjoy things. And I don't think the Aquarius is too far off. There's anxiety here right down the center. So that really does say that it floods the whole reading somewhat. Have the courage to face these things that create anxiety head on. And we just will, uh, <clears throat> they will no longer be is the sense I get. So the Maiden of Earth is really pumping up a joyful appreciation. It's almost like the Sun card appreciation appreciation of life here on the physical realm on the anxiety role here we're talking about we're talking to people and others outside of us again might be a uh, stress related to work in some kind of way but there's an ability here to gain success over it but it still creates anxiety uh, they're saying have courage here on top of that we have the Emperor which speaks to strength and certainty and again, just have the courage to face it and be certain that you'll handle it in whatever way. And they're really showing me his hand on that one animal there. It's almost like one is, um, what's the word? Like uh, one of the wolves is somewhat, pa not passive, submissive, right? So bowing down. So these things that can create so much anxiety for us are really not as bad, right? It's It's really something that we can keep under control right it, it's not going to get out of control that we can control this this is the sense that they're giving me and the certainty that things will will go in a good way okay so on top of staying strong here again our inner self light and dark there's mysteries abound here tap into your creativity and kind of take a a little bit of a hyper break stay strong in that what do we get on top of that? Nine of air, wisdom at a price. 
I feel like the, pr the price here is kind of like, I, I want to say procrastination, but they're going, nope, it's avoidance. Moving, you know, like uh, we don't want to go there, so we go over here. It's kind of uh, time wasting, really, rather than procrastination. I mean, it's very close in vibration, very close. But wisdom at a price, and I feel like the price here is that. Um, hmm, just give me a minute. Yeah, it's almost like the darker crows are, you know, free to fly, and all the the higher vibrationals are just kind of stuck up in the leaves and they can't get loose. This is the, the feeling they're, they're making me feel that. And I feel like that's the Aquarian trying to kind of getting stuck up in the leaves and stuff. Um, maybe getting distracted themselves, not only intentionally, but unintentionally. Uh, so that they, you know, and this is the price they're paying over time here is that we're not we're not moving along as much as we could spiritually really but creativity will really help you fast track is what i'm getting that's their shortcut they're going dip into our creativity and then things will start to come out there even if it's just to relax from this anxiety that we're feeling in a certain area even if it's just to do that to release that then do that and then things will come from that center Okay, so that's the last of the three. Okay, so we have three bumper cards of a fortune. Um, what is it? <laughs> it's an angel card and a power surrender. The power surrender is stubbornness. <laughs> if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. So that may be a stubbornness there. It, yeah, stubbornness to want to deal with a certain area. But it's um, hmm, kind of elusive, the, the root of it. It could be stubbornness, but it, the sense I'm getting as well is that we're kind of trying to avoid it and, and may not even look into it to see if this is what we need to deal with. We're just going to kind of go around that bush. <laughs> we don't want to deal there. And we're just going to keep avoiding it until we absolutely have to. And I feel like the anxiety building is really your hint that we're avoiding stuff that we need to deal with, right? <clears throat> so that's that. Okay, so stubbornness may have a, a part to do there. Now, the angel card that I get for you guys is Raphael talking about balance. Uh, and I will read from the book here. And I mean, there's a little bit of work coming up here, and it may be work-life work balance, you know, um, that might be getting in the way. Okay. So Raphael is aligned with divine intellect, with the ability to view matters in an objective way and to offer insight and solutions to situations that are out of balance. And that may imply major choice. As an expert mediator, he will gift you with the ability to see the situation from all perspectives, <clears throat> to restore harmony and seek solutions that serve the highest good of all concerned. If you do not have clarity on the issue that you have tried to heal through the human power of intellect, Call on him to aid you in decisions involving major choices that you have to make at this time involving people, places, and situations. It's interesting <clears throat> how they say about uh, for your highest good because I was getting that as well. <clears throat> it's like, is this for our good or for our highest good? This is where I think the Aquarius is most confused. So anyway, to continue here with the Raphael balance. Raphael teaches us to use the power of love as our compass to connect us with our higher self or soul essence. When you connect with this power, you will be redirected to make choices based on what is heartfelt. You will be reminded of who you are, divine spirit wrapped in a human form, and be guided by the divinity going forward. It will be easy to forgive yourself and others once viewed in that context. This card gives you the support and enables you to see your life and its events and choices in a higher context. One that serves your 
<laughs> Internal evolution. Why am I having such a hard time with X's? Text context. Can't say things like that. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> okay. And this sun is the um, the planet that they have there. Healing energy, strength, positive expansion. So uh, that really does expand on a lot of energy here. I wasn't picking up on which was, I mean, I was picking up, but subtly. Which was the fact that we don't, you know, seeing things from a higher vantage point. Because we may be seeing things for the moment, but overall... Is it for our best? This is the thing. Uh, this is where the Aquarius is confused. That's what I didn't pick up on. So thank card. Thank the card for, for getting me there. Okay, fortune. Fortune card is judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Again, I feel like they were overly soul searching. Didn't make much progress. So they dipped out of that and kind of getting frustrated and anxious and whatever. They know that something's up here. They know spiritually they got to do some work. They just have no clue where to get it. Now, again, getting into a creative zone here, things will pop up magically, right? Because the universe will just start throwing things your way and, and it'll be like, oh, I wonder if that, you know, it'll hit you on that deeper level. So they are going to deal with the self. They're getting there. They've been there jumped out <laughs> since I get because we're confused we don't know what's for our highest good so let's go somewhere else we're in our career right now and we're really taking that seriously and that's where I think we're going to go for the month but by the end of the month I do feel like we're going to be dipping in or the universe is really going to be shoving energy our way to make us look in different directions and again it may not be um all that different it just may be trying to get them to look from a higher vantage point they are air so they're flying up there but the x-ray vision is on you know it's like we gotta put the telescope what do you call it telescopic lens you gotta change the lens bit uh is the sense and then watch your stubbornness because um if you're taking a rigid stance here, this may be in an area directly related to what needs to be not only healed the most, but um, for your, like the highest healing <laughs> is where we're the most rigid stance here. Um, they want me to expand more here. Just give me a minute. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with yourself and others. Yeah, I, f I do feel we are um, connecting with others, but it's all business. It's all business. May not be truly from the heart, right? We're, we're dealing with business because we feel secure there. We feel like we got our ducks in a row there we know what we're dealing with there the spiritual side we can't go there because we're not feeling on firm footing and that's where the universe is going to take you naturally over the end of the month get into your creativity this will fast track you believe it or not so if you have a hobby or something that you enjoy doing that you are happy you get into that happy vibe they can key in right away and start downloading stuff and they will like with me, um, I don't like to say music is, is a hobby, but music is a hobby for me in a certain sense. I make time for it every, uh, for sure every week, sometimes every day, not every day. And I go in and I listen to music and it helps lift my energy levels. And during that, you can gain messages, right? So again... I'll be putting musical accompaniment to this on my MeWe page. Uh, so if you want to join in there, you'd be so kind. Uh, again, I don't get a lot of traffic in there, so I don't know. But it's there for you because I, I, I can't be doing that on, uh, on YouTube somehow. I can't really do that, I don't think. Or I don't know how to. So anyway, Aquarius, that's your reading. 
judgment, soul searching will bring inner peace in many areas of your life. They have a picture here of someone writing, journaling. That may too also be a way for you to open channels with uh, the divine energy and get stuff flowing that way as well. And watch your stubbornness. Take care, guys. Have fun and be kind. Again, keep in mind, if you get your hits over 100 for this video, I will break out with another love and sex reading or work or whatever you guys want or general reading. But I'll give you another reading if it the numbers go up over 100. So take care, have fun, and be kind.